What's up guys? It's me, Grey Wolf, back here to do another video for you. Today's video, um, <laughs> today's video is basically um, a couple things and they're related, although they might not sound like it at first. Um, so the very first thing I want to cover is I actually want to correct some misinformation that was in my video about the budget soldering stations versus the track power TK950. Um, and then the second thing uh, is just a it's it's just a little mod for the track power TK950, and you'll see how they're related here in a minute. Um, so the first thing the the misinformation that I want to correct was in the video uh, where I compared the 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 three soldering stations. I stated that the bigger, beefier tips were were genuine Heiko 936 tips, and the smaller uh, the smaller ones were not. They were you know they were fakes or or um, you know whatever you want to call them. So there's a couple there's a couple okay well actually there's two pieces of misinformation actually. Let's just get this one out of the way right away because I'm having a hard time of even adjusting to this one. Um, so the first piece of misinformation is actually the company is not actually pronounced Heiko. That's always the way I've heard it said. Um, and that, uh, and if it was an English word, it probably would be pronounced Heiko, but it's actually pronounced Hako um, because it is a Japanese word. They pronounce the the A differently, obviously. Um, but it is Hako. I, I called Hako uh, to confirm what I'm about to tell you about the tips, um, and I heard them say it. I heard them say it Hako, and I was like, "Wow, that just sounds so strange to me." So anyway, if you didn't happen to know that it's actually pronounced Hako instead of Heiko, well, anyway, that's the first piece of misinformation in that video, you could say. But the main thing that I really wanted to correct was the the part about the tips. Uh, there's a couple different things that led me to that conclusion. Uh, just briefly, uh, the very first time that I wanted to order a new tip for my Track Power TK950, I thought the tips were the same as the Heiko 936 tips. I wanted a wider uh, one, and I found a 5.4 millimeter uh, tip that was supposedly for the Hako 936, and I ordered it, and I needed it for, for soldering uh, 10 gauge wire because the track power only has three sizes of tips. They have a one millimeter conical tip, they have a two point, I think it's a 2.3 millimeter, and then a 3.2 millimeter. Uh, the 3.2 millimeter is okay up to a, about 12 gauge. 12 gauge wire is kind of, it's kind of middle of the road uh, for that 3.2 millimeter tip. You can, you can 10. Uh, 12 gauge wire with it, but it's It's a little tricky. It doesn't do it quite as fast as I would like it. It heats up, it heats it up a little too much So I ordered the bigger 5.4 it fit it worked like a dream I can I can now 10 uh, 10 gauge wire very easily with it and Life was good. So I thought well um, The other thing that led me to believe that the thicker, beefier tips were also were, were genuine Hako tips was the fact that the handle. If you compare the handle of the TK950 to the handle to the Hako 907 handle that uh, that is standard, or well, I should say it's the most common handle uh, for the 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 Hako 936. They look virtually identical. The you know the the adapters the plugs on them where they plug into the station are identical. I mean they they really do look virtually identical. So I assumed that the that that it was an exact clone of the 907. Therefore, it would use the same tips. So anyway, those two things led me to believe that. So I was like, well, you know what? I really want a bigger selection of tips. So I ordered a bunch you know i ordered like i don't know 10 or 12 tips it was like a kind of like a little package of different sized and shaped tips and i got them all and i was very disappointed to see that they they were these smaller ones and i was like oh man you know i got some i got some fake hako tips or whatever so i was you know 
I was bummed out or whatever, and I was like, well, you know, I'll try a different manufacturer, not manufacturer, I'll try, I'll try a different reseller or whatever. So I ordered a single tip uh, from a separate reseller, and again, I got the smaller tip. So this prompted me to call Hako to ask them about it. And uh, basically, I mean, they, they um, so basically what they did was they, I mean, they, they obviously couldn't see the tips or anything. So what they did was they asked me the names of the resellers that I bought these, you know, what I thought at the time were, were these fake Hako tips. So I gave them the, the, you know, the names of the resellers or whatever, and they looked it up and sure enough, they were genuine Hako resellers, um, or not genuine, but you know, they were licensed Hako resellers. So that led me to the conclusion that these smaller tips must be the genuine Hakko tips. And that bigger one that I ordered and got was just a fluke. And thinking back on it, the, that, that bigger one that I ordered um, did not come uh, labeled in a Hakko package or anything. All these smaller ones that I got actually, you know, the, the little plastic uh, packages that they came in actually do say Hakko on them and everything. So... <laughs> Sorry, it's my phone. So, at any rate, um, just wanted to let you guys know that these are the genuine Hako tips. Also, I want to let you guys know that um, the Hako 936 and Hako FX 888 tips are interchangeable. And in fact, if you're doing searches for Hako 936 tips, change your search parameters to Hako uh, FX dash 888 tips and you'll turn up much more results i i confirmed on the phone with hako that the the chip the, the the chips the tips are interchangeable because i had all these tips i started looking for a way to be able to use the genuine hako tips with my track power tk950 and what i came up with was this this is i'm sure a generic clone because it's from china it cost about four dollars and fifty cents off of ebay if you get on ebay and do a search for hako 907 iron handle adapter you can pull up this guy it's about four dollars and fifty cents uh, from china and what you can do is you can actually when you get this you can actually just take this collar off of here and as you can see if you compare them side by side, you can see how much bigger this Hako, I mean, I'm sorry, the track power uh, collar is, how much bigger it has to be for those bigger tips, right? And obviously, if you try to put a smaller Hako tip in there, it doesn't even hold it. It just, you know, it just slides right out. So, but th these, these are actually interchangeable. And they're much, you know, this one's much smaller in diameter. So it will actually hold these genuine Hako tips. And now I can't pull it out. It doesn't fall out. It's in there nice and, nice and firm. <laughs> so at any rate, if you want to take advantage of all the different uh, sizes and shapes of tips available for the Hako stations, there's your answer if you already own a Track Power TK 950 and you don't want to spend the extra 80 or 90 bucks or whatever it is to buy an actual Hako station. So anyway, I hope uh, all that has been at least somewhat informational or somewhat helpful. And that wraps it up for this one. I'm trying to really concentrate on making my videos shorter for you guys because I know that's one of my number one complaints. Um, I just have a tendency to try to cram too much information into a single video and it ends up uh, it ends up probably half of it is probably extraneous but anyway that's it for this one and if you have any questions or comments feel free to catch up with me on either my Facebook page that's www.facebook.com forward slash gray wolf studios 74 all one word or you can email me at uh, graywolfstudios74 at gmail.com. And uh, if you want, you can also stop by the RC forums that I generally hang out at, uh, which is www.rcnitrotalk.com. And don't let the name fool you. We do talk about electrics too. Uh, you can catch me there. And if you can't catch me there, there's plenty of nice and friendly informational folks there 
that it will be glad to answer any questions that you might have. So at any rate, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.